Okay, in this video we're going to do some real life examples where we divide decimals and we'll just start with these examples 1, 2, 3 and 4 so that's kilometers to miles, golf earnings, wages and, and gas mileage. Okay. So let's start with example 1. We've got um, kilometers to miles. Convert 100 kilometers to miles by dividing by 1.61. Okay. So I've got to go 1.61 into 100. Agreed? Now the problem is I've got a decimal in the divisor part. So I've got to move that over one, two spaces, right? Where's the decimal point for the number 100? It's right here, isn't it? And you've got to move that where? One, two spaces. In which case, you got to plug in some zeros there. So we're going to get 161 into 10000 and decimal point here, right? So, um, let's go ahead and, and try and do this then. 161 into 10 won't go into 100. Won't go into 100. We'll go into 1000 though. 161 into 1,000. Well, I guess we got to think in terms of kind of uh, 16, 160s basically. Um, so you just kind of take a guess. If your guess doesn't work, you'll 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 figure something out. Try another guess. But I'm gonna try six. Six ones is six. Six six is 36. Carry the three. Uh, six ones is six, and three is nine. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, then subtract. Okay. And um, 10, let's see. Uh, I've got to borrow one from there to make that a 10, but I can't get anything from, from there. Um, so I've got to, this becomes a 0, and we, we borrow the one over to here, that becomes a 10. But i got to borrow one over here, so this becomes a 9. I got borrow one back over here, so that becomes nine, right? So ten minus six is four. Nine minus six is three. Nine minus nine is zero, right? And then this zero comes down. So 161 into 340. I'm gonna guess twice. Two sixteens is 32, isn't it? Two twos is two. Two six is 12. Carry the one. Two twos is two and one is three, and then subtract. Now what? That becomes a three. Bring a one over. Ten minus two is eight. Three minus two is one, right? And there's zero. And bring that zero down. And 161 into 180 goes one time. One times that 161 subtract, and we get uh, 19, and so on. And so the decimal point must go up here, 62.1. So I'm going to just, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to say that that is approximately um, 62 miles. Right? If you round to the nearest whole number, you'll round down to 62. Right? Okay. So let's have a look at example 2. If we had this situation with golfers, and let's take the golfer Sernstam, and her earning, or she, she plays 14 tournaments, and her total earnings is this amount. Okay, what is her average earnings? So how much does she earn on average in one tournament? You, would you know what to do to get that? Wouldn't it be this number divided by this number? Right, that would give you the average. So it would be this number divided by this, or in other words, 14 into one nine five seven 
uh, two zero zero, right? So please um, press pause and do that yourself and see how you do. And I guess we could just round that to the nearest uh, dollar, right? So please press pause and do it and then check your answer. Okay, now I'm going to do it quickly. So you've already tried it and you've checked your answer, right? Uh, I, 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 so you'll fast forward the video, right? So okay, so 14 into 19 goes one time. One times 14 is 14. Subtract and we get 5. Bring this 5 down. 14 into that. Um, 3 times I'm going to guess. 3 4s is 12. Carry the 1. And we get 42. And that gives 3 1. Okay. Bring 7 down. 14 into that. I'm going to guess 9 times. 9 4s is 28. Um, no, that's wrong. 9 4s is uh, 36, isn't it? Carry to 3, 1993 it's 12, okay, 126. 7 minus 6 is 1, 13 minus 12 is 1, and bring this 2 down. 14 into that goes, um, let's see, well, 5 of them is 70, so 84, 6, oh, now let's see, it's got to be, well, I'm just going to guess 8, I think. 4 8 is 32, carry to 3, but 8 is 8 and 3 is 11, subtract and we get remainder 0, oh look at that. But here's the deal, here's the deal, is the answer 1398? I don't think so, the decimal point in the question is all the way over here, look at that. So where should the decimal point be in the answer? I mean, I can't do any more devisings because I just have remainder zero. But look, the decimal point in the answer should be up here. Uh oh, there's two spaces left over, isn't there? So you've got to fill in those two spaces because the answer is average earnings per tournament is um, for this golfer is one three nine eight zero zero. Ah, silly pen. Sorry. One, three, oh no. This is messing up on me, my mistake. Ah, sorry again. One, three, nine, eight, zero, zero. Okay, and you put a little comma there. It's actually $139,800 per tournament. Okay. Okay, so please press pause and do this one. If this uh, golfer creamer, uh, was in 20 tournaments and earned this total amount what is the, the her average earnings per tournament okay so remember these are on your homework anyway so you might as well get them done now and you, then you can just write in your answers for the homework but this way you'll get a chance to check it so one three three two two five four okay is so please press pause and do this and then check your answer off from me and see catch your mistake right okay so 20 into 113 we'll go over 130 uh, 133 that is um, six times 620 is 120 subtract that and I get 13 right one three bring two down 20 into that <coughs> um, six times again right six times that is 120 and then subtract I get 2 and 1. Bring this 2 down. 20 into that is 6 times again. 6 times that is 120. Subtract. And I get 2. Bring this 5 down. 20 into 25 goes 1 time. 120 is 20. Subtract. And I get 5. Bring this 4 down. 20 into 54 goes twice. 220 is 40. Subtract and I get 14 and um, okay okay so where's the decimal point in in this um, number here it's right here isn't it so in the answer it's got to go right above it doesn't it Okay, 
and so I and of course I can put on as many zeros as I like. So twenty into um, bring this zero down, right? Twenty into hundred and forty goes seven times. Seven twenty is one forty. Subtract, and at last we get remainder zero. Now, so we got six 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 one two point seven, and if I round that to the nearest dollar. Okay, to the nearest dollar, in other words, the nearest unit, do I round up or down? Round up, right? So, 66613 is the answer. So, average earnings per tournament for uh, this player is 66,613. Oh, the other one, why did I take that out of there? I don't know. Um, that was um, 139,800 okay so um, yeah this this golfer does a lot better per tournament than this one right about twice as good really okay so we'll go to example three look at some wages how many hours does a person making ten dollars per hour have to work in order to earn four hundred dollars. Write down the answer. How many hours would you have to work at ten dollars an hour to earn four hundred dollars? Can you write down the answer? Is it forty hours? How'd you get that? There's a way of getting that. Okay. It's doing this. Um, four hundred divided by 10, right? That will give you the answer. Or 10 into 400, okay? Will give you 40, won't it? Uh, okay. So, how many hours does a person making $9.83 per hour have to work in order to earn $530.82? Can you do that one? By all means, press pause and write yourself. And then uh, check to see if we get the same thing. I'll go, I'm going to go slowly through it anyway. So I've got to go 9.83 into 530.82. And there's a decimal in my divisor. So I need to move that over two spaces. But I must move it over two spaces here as well, right? So I get 983 into 53082 okay so what do we do with this guy uh oh well it won't go into 5 or 53 or 530 but if you look at this 5308 983 is almost a thousand isn't it so we'll think look five thousands would be five thousand so I'm gonna guess five 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1, 5 times 8 is 40, and 1 is 41, carry the 4. 5, 9 is 45, and 4 is 49, and then subtract. Okay. 8 minus 5 is 3. That becomes a 2, carry a 1 over, 10 minus 1 is 9. This guy becomes a 4, carry a 1 over, 12 minus 9 is 3, okay? So just remember, like, uh, so we got to bring this 2 down here now, remember? 2 goes down here, and I should not have put that all the way over. This 2 goes down here. So remember, this is almost a 1,000. Um, this is a tough one. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, how many times does that go in there? I'm going to guess four times just for fun because it's this is a little bit less than a thousand. This is a little bit less than four thousand. I'm going to guess four and see what happens. Four times three is twelve. Carry the one. Four times eight is thirty-two and one is thirty-three, isn't it? Carry the three. Four nines is thirty-six. Thirty-six and the three gives me 39. Subtract. Zero. Remainder zero. So the answer is 54. Right? Now 54 watts. 
How many hours does the person making this per hour have to work to earn this? 54 hours, right? And if you wanted to check that, of course you would go $9.83 multiplied by 54 and you would do the long multiplication and you would get eventually 530.82, right? So if you're taking a test and you're worried about something or anything like that, just don't be afraid to multiply it out and check it. Okay, example four, gas mileage. If a car travels 415 miles on 12 gallons of gas, gallons of gas, what is its miles per gallon for this journey? What What's its mileage? What mileage did it do? What, what my MPG did it do? MPG miles per gallon, right? 415 miles on 12 gallons of gas. How would you calculate miles per gallon? Any idea? Well, you could use division. You could go 12 into 415, couldn't you? All right. So what's 12 into 41? <laughs> is it three times? Three twos is six, three threes is three ones is three, and then subtract. And we get five. Bring this five down. Twelve and the fifty-five goes. Four times. Four twos is eight. Four ones is four and subtract, right? And we get seven. And where's the decimal point in this guy anyway? It's here, isn't it? So I can put on as many zeros as I like. Bring this zero down. 12 into 70 goes. The decimal point goes up here in the answer, doesn't it? 12 into 70 goes. Uh, I'm going to try 5 times. 5 12 is 60. Subtract and I get 10. Bring this zero down. 12 into 100 goes. Um, I'm going to guess 8 times. 2 8 is 16, carry the 1, 1 8 is 8 and 1 is 9, subtract and I get 4, and so on. Okay, So I think I'm pretty much, that's as much as I would want to know about miles per gallon, how about you? 34.58, and in fact I'm going to round it up to the nearest tenth. Can you round this to the nearest tenth? So it is approximately 34 point, and that'll round up, won't it? 34.6. MPG miles per gallon, right?